Of course, I'll be paying attention to the forecast too. Uh, here's a look at just a beautiful day across the state from the perspective of the very large array looking out east toward the mountains uh, in there's Coro County. You know, this is what we expect to see and often what we do see when there is no moisture to work with in the atmosphere. I mean, you can highly find a, a, a spare cloud out there because that high pressure system is literally acting like a shield. It's keeping all the moisture out of New Mexico. So that has been instrumental in those hot temperatures, especially in southern New Mexico. So we're looking at around uh, 94 degrees in Deming, 95 in Alamogordo, but currently in the triple digits. I know that it has been a hot stretch for you in Roswell and Carlsbad in areas like Hobbs, um, but you know, unfortunately that heat is going to be on the rise. The difference in the northern area of the state is some cooler air has moved in. So we're looking at some 80s. In fact, uh, this doesn't happen very often, but Santa Fe and Albuquerque, identical readings at 86 degrees. We're also looking at the wind speeds, which are down compared to yesterday. So there is not that red flag warning in place across northeastern New Mexico like there was yesterday. In the same breath, I want to say that because it's so dry and because we're looking at these uh, warmer temperatures, uh, really it's all corners of the state. We all have to be uh, diligent in watching out for those fire conditions because of this non-soon, the lack of rain, and unfortunately the growing drought throughout New Mexico. And uh, talking about drought, high resolution future cast for the next few days through Thursday afternoon, can't find even a speck of rain on the predictions. So that is kind of what I mean when I say we're in for a very dry and hot stretch across the state. In fact, by Thursday, we're going to be looking at the possibility of record breaking heat. But first for tonight, looking dry and mild across New Mexico because it's so dry, you know, it's going to cool down very efficiently, especially across northern areas of the state. So we'll feel quite comfortable. You know, we don't have that humidity to contend with, which often does come with monsoon. So for tomorrow, feel Feeling dry, but getting hotter by Thursday and especially by Friday. Unfortunately, we'll be looking at the possibility of record breaking heat in southern New Mexico, especially for areas like Roswell. So here is my prediction. I am well, I'm calling for 103 degrees tomorrow in the Roswell area, but it gets hotter than that. By the way, 103 is record breaking and you know by Thursday and Friday that is going to be some serious heat for this time of year. But the good news is there is some chance for rain next week. 100 tomorrow for Deming 91 in Silver City. The Four Corners also going to be an area super dry, a lot of sunshine, uh, but the temperatures won't be out of control. I'm talking about 89 degrees tomorrow for areas like Farmington up to the 90s by this weekend. But look at next week. Those highs back into the 80s going to be getting some cold front action moving into the state across the North Mountains for tomorrow. 76 for Red River, about 78 in Angel Fire everywhere else in the 80s uh, and some 90s out there. 90 degrees, by the way, for Thursday in Santa Fe, but cooling down by next week. 93 for Santa Rosa, and I'm calling for the East Mountains also to have kind of a warm day. I mean, we're already going to be breaking into the 90s for areas like Moriarty and Estancia, getting pretty close in other communities, but from Belen to Bosque Farms, the heat is back on. That goes for the South Valley and many locations across the Albuquerque Metro, but in Rio Rancho, that is an official prediction of 96 degrees by Thursday, almost identical for Albuquerque by Thursday. But look at next week, rain chances and cooler temperatures. So hopefully that gets us through the hot weekend.